Hola amigos, it's Matt here and as promised on Wednesday, today I'm going to be showing you how to check and replace the cam follower on your 2.0 FSI engine. If you've stumbled upon this video without watching my previous video, I'd recommend watching that one first. It explains what's going on here and why it's important to monitor this component on this generation 2 liter turbo Volkswagen Audi engine. I'll link that up in the top of the screen right now. So as you can see, I'll be demonstrating this DIY on my Mark 6 Golf R. I do believe that this is one of the last production models to still have this style cam follower. A good check to know if you still have this flat cam follower opposed to the redesigned roller follower is to check how VW branded the engine. If it's an FSI, it has this style cam follower. They branded the new generations as both TSI and TFSI. They all stand for the same thing, but VW changed them to differentiate the generations. Also, I'm going to be referencing this picture throughout the DIY. This should help to see what's actually going on. This image was graciously provided by Paul at Deutsch Auto Parts. Check them out at shopdap.com. So let's get into this procedure. Normally, the first thing to do is remove the engine cover and the air intake assembly. But as you can see, I have a CTS turbo intake without any covers, so mine's slightly easier and I can already access the high pressure fuel pump. So right off the bat, I unplug the two wiring harnesses going into the fuel pump. Because I don't have the stock air box or any of the covers, all I had to do is remove the air filter and the CTS filter box. This gave me enough room to work with. So now onto the high pressure fuel pump. Be careful while performing this next step as the high pressure fuel pump is under, well, high pressure. Remove the cap covering the bleeder valve, then place some paper towels or a rag under and around the bleeder valve. With a small screwdriver, push up on the bleeder valve to release the pressure. There will be a fair amount of fuel that comes out. Now that the pressure is released, we will need to fully remove the bleeder or Schrader valve so we can access the bottom high pressure fuel pump Torx bolt. This can be removed with a 13 millimeter, like so. Now we have access to that bottom Torx bolt. But before we remove those bolts, we will want to disconnect the hard line coming up into the fuel pump from the bottom. This requires a 17 millimeter open end wrench to crack the nut loose, then it can be fully removed. You can just let that nut slide down into the bend of the hard line. With that removed, now we can go around and break the three T30 Torx bolts loose. Those bolts loose, continue to slowly remove the bolts, taking each out a little at a time. You will notice that the high pressure fuel pump spring will keep tension on the bolts, so removing each bolt a little at a time will avoid binding or damaging the threads. Now that the bolts are removed, you can remove the fuel pump. Note that there is still a soft line attached at the bottom, so it won't move far, but it's far enough to remove the cam follower. If you're doing this job and you see two hard lines on the bottom, you have one of the older versions of this engine, you're gonna have to remove that second hard line as well. Then the fuel pump can be completely removed from the engine. But for this one, we've got it far enough so that we can stick our finger in there and pull that cam follower out. Comparing the old and new follower, it really doesn't look like there was too much wear, but since I had the new part, I reinstalled the new one. When you reinstall the new cam follower, you want to make sure that it's covered with engine oil to avoid the follower and cam lobe riding on each other dry. Similarly, if you are replacing the high pressure fuel pump o-ring, which is recommended, you should lube that up as well. Now we can insert the cam follower, install the new o-ring, and reinstall the high pressure fuel pump. I also purchased new Torx bolts as well, which after doing this job I thought may have been unnecessary, but they were only a buck a piece, so no harm done. Again, go around on each bolt and tighten them slowly. You can also relieve some of the tension by pushing the fuel pump in. Deutsche Auto Parts actually has a stud conversion kit for this high pressure fuel pump, which greatly reduces the likelihood of stripping these threads, so next time I do this, I'll probably do that conversion as well. When the Torx bolts are almost tight, snug them up, but don't go too crazy. Now we can reinstall that hard line at the bottom of the pump. Get the nut started by hand first to know you're not cross-threading the nut, 
then tighten it up with a wrench. I actually noticed a slight bubbling through the threads a couple days after this install, so I ended up torquing it down harder. I guess we'll see if I cross threaded the nut next time I check the follower. We can also reinstall the Schrader valve, snugging that up with a 13mm. Then screw on the cap. Plug in the wiring harnesses, and you're done. Cross your fingers and start your engines. Here's a look at all the cam followers that have ever been in this engine. Yes, I am that guy who saves all old parts. So this was the second follower, which had about 10,000 miles on it. This one was the original follower with 33,000 miles on it. Note that this was while the car was under warranty and had no modifications. This next one was the third follower, which had another 10,000 on it. And finally, the follower I just removed, which had um, 3,000 miles on it. Whoops. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this can help you check and replace your cam follower. If it did, give the video a like and share it with another FSI driver. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos, subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out the Deutsch Auto Parts channel. Their channel also has a cam follower DIY and stud conversion, so check that out. I'll link that in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.